Here in front of me, I have the ECS coil pack kit for the Mark IV 1.8 turbo. There are three different stages for this kit. Stage one will include four brand new coil packs. They're the Hitachi style with the wings on them so they bolt directly to the head. They're more efficient and they're less prone to breaking. It comes with eight new five millimeter hex heads and gaskets to seal the coil packs down to the head. Now if you decide to upgrade to stage two, we'll also include this heat shield that goes on the back of the wiring harness to the coil packs and it protects the clips and the wires which are very brittle. Now if you go stage three, you will get all of this plus the NKG laser platinum spark plugs. The tools required for this installation are a torque wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a socket wrench, dielectric grease, a 10 millimeter socket, an extension, a five millimeter hex head, a coil pack puller tool, and a spark plug remover tool. The first thing you're gonna have to do is take off this 10 millimeter nut connected to this box. With the nut off, you should be able to slide the box out of the way. After that, we have eight 5mm hex heads that need to be removed. Start off by the one that's holding this black bracket in place. With this bolt out, it'll give us easier access with this bracket off. Here I have a coil pack puller that'll help me get these babies out without breaking them. It just slides over here in the grooves and it pulls up. Once your coil packs are removed, you can go ahead and use your spark plug tool to remove your spark plugs. I'm going to go ahead and use my spark plug remover tool to put them back in since it's magnetic. It'll keep the spark plugs from falling out. I'm just gonna get them hand tight for right now so they sit in place. With my torque wrench, I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down to 15 foot pounds. Before we install the coil packs, we have to be sure to install the gasket on the coil pack. It simply slides over top and should clip into place. Once the gasket is firmly installed in the coil pack, we recommend that you go ahead and use dielectric grease. This will prevent any breaking of the spark plug boot when you remove it next time.
be sure that the gasket doesn't fall off as you're putting it into the engine. Just be very careful. Next, let's fasten down those coil packs with the new bolts we included. Be sure when you're tightening these, they only go snug. If you over tighten them, you'll crack the plastic on the coil pack. Don't forget to leave this bolt out on coil pack number three so we can reinstall this black bracket. Before we do all that though, we need to go ahead and install the heat shield. The heat shield will go around the connector so we're going to leave them unhooked right now. First, start in the back of the head where you'll see a plastic connector that holds the entire wiring harness down. You'll need to go ahead and pop this up to get the heat shield in. We made a provision in the heat shield for this. So find the hole of your heat shield and slide it over until that lines up with the connector. Once that's done, you can go and reconnect it. Just start on one side and start buttoning these together. With that installed, we can go ahead and reconnect our coil pack wires. Let's go ahead and put this black bracket back into its place. Now, all we have to do is reassemble this black plastic box on top their 10 millimeter nut. Okay, and that concludes our installation of the ECS coil pack kit. Until next time, I'm Colin and I'll see you again.